Hello everyone, this is Pax the Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today I want to talk to you about a perfect fit. What is a perfect fit? It's when a garment fits you well in the armholes, bust, shoulders. I'm not talking about items with dolman sleeves or loose shirts. Don't ever choose designs which make you look worse. Forget about them. This is what we're going to talk about today. Have a look at this piece of linen fabric. It's polka dotted. Unfortunately, this piece of fabric is just 1.2 meters long. You know that I love red color. I have a matching bracelet. It's very simple, but I love it. I also have such an amazing brooch. It's handmade. I bought it in Paris. The leaves are made of the very soft fabric. This part is made of strong cord. I think that the brooch looks amazing. It was made by a very famous French designer. Veronica Brikalski. I love the things she makes. There are some presented in Louvre, in Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. I bought this brooch and a hat made by her. I was absolutely happy about it. Anyway, I remind you that this piece of linen is 1.2 meters long. What I want to tell you is that even a small linen dress should fit you perfectly. This is what we will be working with today. Have a look at the sketch. This is how the dress is going to look like. The front neckline will be wide, but not deep. Have a look at the darts on the front. I call them perfect darts for people of big sizes. But they are actually suitable for all sizes. There will be princess seams on the front. And the chest darts will start from them. The most interesting and at the same time complicated details in this dress are the shoulders. These are actually reglan sleeves. The sleeves will end with the drop shoulders. I remind you that the neckline will be pretty wide, so the sleeves will be modified a little. Anyway. These are steel raglan sleeves. I've already showed you how to make them a lot of times. I know that the technique is pretty complicated, so I'm going to show you how to make such sleeves very thoroughly. Today we'll be working with a pattern for this dress. This is going to be a pretty loose dress with a wide neckline, modified raglan sleeves and drop shoulders. These parts will fit the body perfectly. Now I can move this piece of fabric, the bracelet and the brooch aside. I love it. Now we can start working with the pattern. First I need to make the armhole one centimeter deeper. I remind you that we don't make armholes wider, just deeper. I like to work without any problems when it comes to cutting fabric, so I prefer to work with patterns very thoroughly. First I need to cut the front and the back. I want to make both the front and the back necklines 5 cm wider. I can't do it now because of the darts. That means that first I need to move both the chest and the shoulder darts. I need to draw princess seams first. I'll start drawing them here. You can make princess seams as long as you want. I want it to end on the same level as the waist tuck. Next, I need to move the waist tuck to the princess seam. I'm not going to make this one. I remind you that you can draw princess seams wherever you want. I want them to be here. Now 
This is how the princess seam looks like now. Next, I need to move the chest dart here. When making dresses of such designs, don't make chest darts too biased. They should be almost horizontal. Now I can make an opening here and close the original one. I remind you that I'm making these darts. You can see that it doesn't take long to do it. I made an opening here, so now I can close the original dart. This is where the chest dart is now. I need to close the original dart. I moved the chest dart, and now I need to do the same thing with the shoulder dart. I'll move it to the back neckline. That's it. Now I can move on to working with the necklines. I hope that everything is clear so far. I want to make both the front and the back necklines 5 cm wider. I will have to make raglan sleeves of the left parts of the shoulders. I'll also make the back neckline about 4 cm deeper. I'll also make the front neckline deeper. Not too deep though. You can see that I'm drawing it by side. I don't want it to be deep for me to be able to wear different brushes. In my case, the front neckline will be 9 cm deep. Next, I need to cut the necklines. You can see that the basic pattern looks absolutely different now. Next, we need to decide on the length of the dress. My dress will be about 103 or 105 cm long. I remind you that after moving chest darts, we should always alter the front shoulder a bit. Do not forget to do it. I need to cut just about 5 mm, otherwise the front shoulder would be too high. This is very important. I'll make the dress 104 cm long. That means that I need to add 40 cm to the basic pattern. Do not forget about 4 cm for an overcast. That means that I need to add 44 cm. This is how the pattern looks like now. That's all for today. I don't want to make too long videos, so I'll show you how to make sleeves next time. My name is Pauk Shderina. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.